Month 10 in the Eternal Calendar, Month 1, Day 1, 2023. In gratitude to the Eternal for one more day of life I went, as is my custom, to his house of prayer in the morning. There, while I was in prayer, asking for the people before a time of end very solemn of final stretch that is beginning, I asked for each one of the flock of the Eternal, so that they would have the strength to put aside everything that does not honor the Lord. I was also asking for strength and divine wisdom to free a constant battle, clinging to him, in my life. When I finished, still on my knees with eyes closed, as is my custom to do in order to ask the Eternal for the mercy that if there is something he wants to talk, I can hear him and understand him, I was shown a sky of a dark color, clear gray, gray even more darker, black and intense black. All these colors intermingled. It opened little by little, as when a groove is opened in the earth, in width and length. So I asked, what is this? And I was told, it is the appearance of the enemy of souls. Prepare yourselves because time is short. Oh, beloved. I saw no more there and no more was said to me. Beloved brothers, time is running fast. Let's not be seized by what we have in front of us, by what we see with our carnal eyes. Let's learn to see with spiritual eyes. Let us learn to see what the Lord wants to show us every day, at, every moment, in our lives. Let's leave emotions aside, carnal feelings, in matters of emotions, that give space to fall into one of the seven ways of falling. Let us ask the Eternal to give us that reasoning, that logical and spiritual reasoning that we need, each one of us at this hour, in this final stretch, beloved brothers. The time, for the world, is already at its climax. Oh, beloved brothers! And the time of God is also running. Soon we will see what we have always been told, an outpouring of a Holy Spirit, of the Holy Spirit, a people ready, a people who left everything to follow the Lord, despite criticism, vicissitudes and ridicule. Oh, beloved! God grant that each one of us can be in that group. Because really that is the only thing that will help us to be able to come out airy in the face of what is coming. God grant that we can understand it. Let us cling to the living word of God, let us not cling to men. Soon we will be cut off from being able to communicate with each other. Only communication will continue, as it has always been, without interruption, with Christ Jesus. The Holy Spirit will continue there for a while longer. And the ministry of the holy angels, which will be until the end. Oh, beloved, let's not miss the opportunity of this. Soon, this world will end and those who have not made the preparation to live in the better world, not even this world, will they have, which they yearn so much and see in front, and long for. This world in which are, therefore, encouraged by the things that the enemy puts in front, all of this is going to pass. Those who fail to reach the celestial homeland, unfortunately, will have nothing in this world, or in the other world, only destruction. Oh, beloved, God grant that we can understand all this and analyze it. Because really time is very short. Very, very, very short. And, more, that time runs so that soon we will see the Lord in the clouds of heaven. More important is that we are ready, sealed, to see him and not hide from his face, but praise him and glorify his name, go to meet him in the air. O oh, beloved, the time is short for us to be able to stay inside the fold. God grant that we can understand this. And let us get right with him and do everything that is necessary to be under the wings of the Most High. It is my request and prayer that it be so. May the Lord bless us.